everyone. This is Karen. Hello, welcome back. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part two of Animals Get, Get Sunburned Too. Ow. Okay. In the <laughs> That's getting sunburned. Ow. Right. Ow. I like that. And the vocabulary words are suffer. Suffer. For the past few months, my brother has been suffering from stomach problems. Repair. Repair. Vicky's uncle repairs watches for a living. Cool. Protection. Protection. A turtle shell serves as protection from other animals. Sensitive. Sensitive. My teeth are very sensitive, so I try not to eat cold foods. <gasps> no ice cream? Mm, I try not to.、Aww. I'm not successful, but I try. <laughs> Outdoors. Outdoors. Baseball is meant to be played outdoors. So, we're talking about animals that, getting that, sunburned. That's right. So, I think in today's lesson, we're、mm -hmm. learning a little bit about other types of animals. So, we were talking about land animals before, right?、Mm -hmm. So, now we're going to talk about <gasps> ocean animals. Yeah. So, the、For、first example, one. For example, blue whales and also dolphins. I didn't know that they can get sunburned too. Yeah, but I guess it makes sense because that's skin. And if they spend a lot of time at the surface, that's right. then they're going to be exposed to the UV light, right? But luckily, what do the blue whales do when their skin g e t hurt、well, or they, sunburned? Yeah, so if the, the skin cells get damaged, they're、mm -hmm. very good at repairing.、Mm. Their body naturally repairs the cells very well, so they don't get cancer. That is really, really cool.、Right. That's what we're scared of, right? Is getting cancer. That's right, skin cancer, right? Exactly. And there's also,、uh, you know, like zebra fish, sea turtle,、um. and shrimp, and other k i n d of、uh, creatures in the water. They kind of produce their own natural sunscreen. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. So they will not really get sunburned. I wonder in the future if we could learn, like, what is the gene?、Mm. Or maybe we can make ourselves be naturally. Protected against the sun's rays. That would be cool.、Huh? Maybe you can try to do something. Do, you、I'm、can invent it. it. All right, I'll let you guys know <laughs> next time if it was successful. All right, enjoy today's lesson. <laughs> enjoy. Animals get sunburn too. Land animals aren't alone in having trouble with sunburn. Whales and dolphins also suffer from this problem. In recent years, scientists have found increasing amounts of sunburn in blue whales, which spend a lot of time at the ocean surface, likely due to climate change. It's a good thing that blue whales have a special adaptation that allows their cells to repair skin damage very effectively, so they don't often get skin cancer. Today's lesson is called Animals Get Sunburned Too, Part 2. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. Still、and、sunburned. Yes, you're still s u n No, you're suntanned. Okay. If you go a little too far though and you come back looking like a cherry or a tomato, a nice bright <laughs> red kind of color, not so good. You've gotten a sunburn. Now, this is a problem that humans have. We do have hair on our bodies, but not enough to really block those harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. So we use sunscreen, right? We put on those creams with chemicals. And that protects our skin in the hot sun. But with animals, they can't go to Watson's. They don't have money. They can't even squeeze a bottle and put it on unless they're a monkey. But monkeys、uh, don't worry about that. So pigs, they roll in mud. <laughs> Elephants, they toss sand and dirt on their backs. And hippos, who live in the water and can't really do the mud or sand thing, they produce red stuff around their eyes and ears. Which acts as kind of a natural they, sunscreen. They naturally produce this substance. They make their own. It's a physical adaptation,、Amazing. whereas what the elephants were doing and the pigs were doing,、mm -hmm. that would be a behavioral adaptation.、Uh -huh. Anyways, let's get off of the land animal subject for now.、Okay. It turns out that land animals aren't alone in having trouble with sunburn. So, Let's delve into the water. The water? The water. Water animals having problems with sunburn. It's a thing. Let's read on. Whales and dolphins also suffer from this problem. 
Who would have known that whales and dolphins can also get sunburn or suffer from the problem of having too much sun? If you suffer, this verb means something is really troubling you in your life, and it's making your life much harder, or difficult, or possibly even painful than it should normally be. We often use this when talking, of course, about sickness or disease. If you're suffering from a cold, if someone suffers a heart attack, if someone Has been suffering from cancer for the past few months. These are all terrible problems with their health and their their fitness. Their 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 body is sick in some kind of way. We can also suffer from other things. We can suffer from a terrible boss who's always yelling at us, or suffer from a teacher、Ooh. who's always giving us trouble at school, or something like that. But it just basically means this thing, this person, this sickness, whatever. It's bringing trouble and difficulty into our lives, and it's making our daily Life much more hard, much more unenjoyable、yeah. than it really should be. For the past few months, for example, for the past few months, my brother has been suffering from stomach problems. Yeah, yeah more on this. In recent years, scientists have found increasing amounts of sunburn in blue whales, which spend a lot of time at the ocean's surface, and this is likely due to. Climate change.、Mm. How about that? Yeah, a blue whale spends a lot of time near the surface of the ocean, so those sun, those sun, those rays of sun there can still penetrate through the water and cause damage. I imagine sperm whales don't have this problem, considering they spend a significant amount of time at very, very deep, deep depths there in、That's、the ocean. That's a good point. Anyways, it's a good thing that blue whales, they also have. A special adaptation.、Mm, interesting. Yeah, it says it's a good thing that blue whales have a special adaptation, like hippos, that allows their cells to repair skin damage very effectively, so they don't often get skin cancer. There you go. Instead of our our DNA getting destroyed by UV rays, apparently blue whales, hey, their skin gets damaged, but they can. Fix that. Yes, to fix something and to repair something mean about the same thing. Whereas before something was broken, you go ahead and you fix that thing, and it's like new once again. If you do so, you repair that thing, or you have repaired that thing. For example, Vicky's uncle repairs watches for a living. Give him a broken watch, he'll fix it. He'll repair it. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文了解到，猪、大象、河马这些陆地动物如何发展出自己的适应性变化来保护皮肤。但其实生活在水里的动物，像是金鱼和海豚，它们也会碰到晒伤的问题哦。那么近年来，科学家发现，可能因为气候变迁的关系，有越来越多的蓝鲸晒伤，因为它们花了很多时间在海面上。不过幸好，蓝鲸拥有一种特殊的适应能力，让它们的细胞能够非常有效地修复皮肤损伤，所以不常罹患皮肤癌。我们先来看两个单字 ：suffer。Suffer 这个动词，它有遭受、忍受的意思。那在文中，它是不及物用法，去表达受苦、受折磨。我们常常会用 suffer from 加上名词去表达受苦的原因。再来看 repair，repair repair 这个动词是指修理、修补。那 Jeff 老师刚刚说到，阳光的射线会会穿透水面，造成蓝鲸晒伤。可是像抹香鲸 （sperm whale） 就是抹香鲸，它们大多数的时间都。都是在深海里，可能比较没有这个问题吧。好，这时候老师用到 penetrate 这个字，就是表达穿过或是刺入。这个字是拼作 p e n e t r a t e penetrate， 它是当动词用。接话课文中 ，Animals get sunburned too. Zebrafish produce a chemical called gadgesol that protects against the sun's rays. In fact, scientists have discovered that other animals, such as shrimp, sea turtles, and chickens, also carry the gene for producing this natural sunscreen.、Mm, so, water animals—it's、mm. the dolphins and the whales, the mammalian water creatures there that have sunburns, right? Not necessarily. Fish, fish with scales. Also, apparently, maybe they don't get a sunburn, but they do have adaptations that keep them 
from getting harmed by the sun's rays. Very, very interesting. Let's find out about one of these very unusual fish. Zebra fish produce a chemical called gadusol that protects against the sun's rays. So zebra fish, I assume, have scales. You know that kind of overlapping armor, like like fish or snakes or lizards. Also have, but zebra fish are a little special. They produce gadusol, and this is again their natural sunscreen, their natural sunblock. It protects against the sun's rays. And really, there are actually more animals、mm. than you might expect who have a similar adaptation, a similar ability to protect their own skin. Yes, without this natural sunscreen,、yeah. fish would be in danger. They could be harmed by the sun's rays, just like. Me and you. Anyways, in fact, it says scientists have discovered that other animals, such as shrimp, sea turtles, and chickens, also carry the gene for producing this natural sunscreen. There、chickens. you go. Water animals such as shrimp, sea turtles, and chickens. Oh, sea chickens. No, I think they just mean mark, 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 mark. Regular good old chickens on the land. What an Odd trio.、Yeah. Any, anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back after this. So that means chickens, chickens. are seafood. 刚刚我们看的是海洋哺乳动物，接下来要看的是斑马鱼，看看有鳞片的动物是怎么防晒的。那这边补充一下 ，mammal 这个字可以指哺乳动物，它是拼作 m a m m a l mammal。我们在字尾加上 i a n 变成 mammalian， 就是形容哺乳动物的，是形容词。好，那么 Mike 老师提到说，鳞片好像这样部分重叠，这样重叠的盔甲，老师。这时候用到 overlap 这个动词 ，o v e r l a p， 它可以表达部分重叠。还有 armor， a r m o r， armor 就是表达盔甲。好，课文提到说，斑马鱼啊会产生一种叫做 g a d u s o l 的这种化学物质，可以保护不受阳光伤害。而科学家也发现，其他动物像是虾、海龟还有鸡。嗯，好，还有鸡也都具有制造这种天然防晒霜的基因。话说回来，鸡它不是生活在水里，你有没有觉得这三种动物摆在一起好像怪怪的哈？刚刚 Jeff 老师用到 trio t r i o trio 可以表达三人组、三重唱，或是用来表达说三个一组、三件一套的意思。接华课文中 ，Animals get sunburned too. It isn't just wild animals that need protection from the sun. Hairless pets or those with white fur are naturally more sensitive to sunlight, so you should take steps to protect your pet outdoors. You can buy animal sunscreens at many pet stores or put clothing on your pet for outdoor play, for example. When it comes to sunburn, whether for people or animals, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay, let's read on. It isn't just wild animals that need protection from the sun. Okay, so some wild animals need that protection, but they're not the only ones. It's not just wild animals. So what else needs protection from the Dome sun? Domestic animals、cars? or domesticated animals? Oh, I well, see. I don't think cars、uh, are other、animals. other types they... of animals. Okay, yeah. Well, we are talking about, of course. Avoiding the damage from the sun, or looking for protection from the sun. If you're looking for protection, you are trying to avoid danger, damage, harm, injury, something like that. Protection is basically anything that stops something bad from happening, from being hurt, or from you know some kind of terrible accident or disaster. We wear a seatbelt in a car for our protection. Even an umbrella can give you protection from the rain if it's a、uh, you know. Rainy outside, or UV rays, or UV rays. That's a good point. You can get protection from that also using an umbrella. Let's talk about an animal that has its own protection. A turtle shell serves as protection from other animals.、Mm. It's hard. It、mm. makes it hard to eat the turtle. That's its protection. That's its armor. Yeah, but apparently, sea turtles who do have shells、mm -hmm. can still get. They could still get sunburns if it weren't for gadgets, though.、Mm. Interesting.、So、a shark can't eat them, but they can get a sunburn if it weren't for gadgets. So that's right. Anyways, hairless pets、mm. 
We're talking now about domesticated uh, animals. Like those hairless cats. Like hairless pets. Uh. Or those with white fur oh. are naturally more sensitive to sunlight. Yes, if you are sensitive, you are easily affected by something. If someone says something mean to you, it might really hurt you a lot. Whereas someone else might be able to brush that off. You might be sensitive. Now, there's a good side to being sensitive. Some people who are sensitive, they can pick up on things that others can't. They sense things or they detect things that other people can't because they are sensitive. For example, my teeth are very sensitive, so I try not to eat cold food. All right, let's get back to the article. So, if you have a hairless pet, like those hairless cats, and I think there are some sort of mice or gerbils or you know little little kind of sure. rodent animals that people might have as pets that also could be hairless. But in any case, with your pets and of course with yourself, you should take steps to protect your pet outdoors. On a hot, sunny day, we can of course add that too. But yes, when you're outdoors, you are at most risk of getting damage from the sun because outdoors is outside. You're not in a building. You're in the great outdoors. The sky above you is clear. You don't have a roof or a ceiling or anything above you. Not even an umbrella, possibly. Although you could have an umbrella if you're outdoors because you're outside. You wouldn't use an umbrella indoors. You would use an umbrella outdoors. For example, baseball and other. Thing that you should only do outdoors. Baseball is meant to be played outdoors unless you want to break a lot of stuff in your living room. Anyways, as far as your animals are concerned,、mm. okay, you can buy animal sunscreens at many pet stores or put clothing、Aww. on your pet for outdoor play. For example,、That's、these、so、things would provide protection from the sun. Now, when it comes to sunburn, whether for people or animals or sea turtles or even chickens, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Basically, a little bit of care, doing a few simple things, is equal to doing a lot more when you get that sunburn. When the sun does damage your skin, so do a little bit, put on that sunscreen, and then you won't have to worry about looking. Like a baseball glove or、yeah. anything like a that. A stitch in time saves nine.、Mm. Look up that particular phrase. Anyways, our lesson is almost complete. We just have to ask and then answer the what do you think question. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Which adaptation mentioned in the article? Do you find the most interesting, and why? I'd say the most interesting adaptation is this gadusol stuff. These animals that produce gadusol. I like this one the most because I didn't know that chickens and sea turtles and shrimp have the same ability to produce. And also because with all the talk of skin health and sunscreens and SPF and all that stuff, I've never heard of gadusol. I thought it would be something some company would be making and putting in our sunscreen, since it works for chickens. Chickens. Yeah. How about that? There you go. I've never seen a sunburned chicken. Now no, I know why. Nor have I. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, folks, with that, our lesson is now in the books, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. 好，不是只有野生动物需要保护皮肤哦。其实无毛的宠物或者是白色皮毛的宠物，它们天生就对阳光比较敏感。Mike 老师刚刚提到，有些人他们会饲养啮齿类动物，像是 gerbil 就是沙鼠。好，那老师还有用到 rodent 这个字 ，r o d e n t rodent 表示啮齿类动物。那么课文就建议我们说啊，到户外的时候可以帮宠物采取一些保护措施。毕竟受到晒伤，不管是对人还是动物，都是这样预防胜于治疗嘛。好，那么 Jack 老师这时候用到一个谚语是 ：A stitch in time saves nine， 及时的缝一针。就能够省九针，也就是说，你及时、适时的处理会事半功倍的意思。那我们再来看三个单字 ：protection，protection， protection, 它表示保护、防护。那么 sensitive。Sensitive， 它是形容敏感的、灵敏的。我们可以用 be sensitive to 加名词来表达对什么什么敏感。再来看 outdoors，outdoors outdoors, 这个副词表示在户外、去户外。我们可以用 the great outdoors 来指自然界，就是可以享受大自然的地方。好，那么 outdoors 的相反词是 indoors， 就是把 out 改成 in。那么 indoors 表示在室内，也是当副词用。
。那我们最后来看四个重点。第一个是要介绍分裂句句型，也就是 it is 或是 it was 加强调的部分，加 that 再加句子其余的部分。好，分裂句呢是要把你原本句子要强调的部分摆在 it is 和 that 之间，或是 it was 和 that 之间。强调的部分可以是你原本句子的主词、受词、时间副词或是地方副词等等。那你接着再把原本句子的其他部分摆到 that 之后。好，例如。The smell of fresh bread drew me to the bakery section. 那如果用分裂句去强调这个主词 the smell of fresh bread， 我们的句子就会写作 It was the smell of fresh bread that drew me to the bakery section. 正是新鲜刚烤好的面包香味把我吸引到烘焙区了。好，那么另外，当分裂句强调的部分是人的话，我们可以把 that 改成 who， 例如。It was Sarah who told him the secret, not me. 是 Sarah 把秘密告诉他的，不是我。好，那么第二个重点 ，when it comes to 加上名词或动名词，就是表达每当说到什么、谈到什么、提及什么什么，这是用来引出跟主题相关的资讯。例如 ，It's important to know your limits when it comes to swimming. 说到游泳啊，知道自己的极限在哪是很重要的哦。第三个重点 ，whether 什么什么 or 什么什么是用来带出两种或两种以上的可能性，来表达不管是怎么样还是怎么样。例如 ，whether steamed or roasted, sweet potatoes are delicious. 地瓜不管是用蒸的还是烤的都很好吃。那第四个重点 ，an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. 字面意思是一盎司的预防价值相当于一磅的治疗，这就一类似我们中文说的“事先预防胜于事后治疗”。好，那么其中这个 ounce 跟 pound 都是重量单位，一个是盎司，一个是磅嘛。那么 an ounce of 加上名词，常常用来指少量的什么，一点点的什么。好，那我们用刚刚这个用语来造句 ：You should always back up your data, as the saying goes. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. 你应该随时备份资料。俗话说，预防胜于治疗。好，那么以上是今天讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。各位同学，大家好，我是吉安老师。我们来看一下今天简短对话。好，开国性的问题呢，人物的职业呢，其实我们从关键字就可以去脑补出来，就是可以推测出来。那我们看一下、啊、这边 A B C D E F。啊，你可以暂停，然后快速的把它做完之后呢，然后来一起对答案。OK， 好，那假设你已经暂停，然后又开始了。OK， 好，我们来看一下第 A 个 equipment service 哦，这个设备的服务 ，photocopy 也是影印机 ，fix it 修理 ，malfunction 哎，这个已经坏掉了，所以呢，感觉是哪一个？哦，答案是第十，对不对 ？Repairman。再来 ，ready to order， 准备要点餐啦。Menu 是这个菜单 ，OK。所以呢，你觉得是哪一个？嗯，是这个哈，第五个 ，waiter， 对不对？再来 ，book a flight one way， 还是 package tour。book a flight 是订班机的 one way， 单程的。到这边我还觉得说可能是呃这个旅行社，或者是呢。啊，机场的人员都有可能会讲到这些东西啊，但是你看到后面 package tour， package tour 呢，就是这种呃跟团的、整团的旅行哈，旅行团啊，所以我觉得这个应该是一个 travel agent 啊，在跟顾客呢在讨论他的套装行程的问题。D 呢 application 是呃应用、运用 ，OK， 再来 install， install 是安装啊 ，fix the bug， fix the bug 就是抓这个臭虫，就是。哎，这个软体怪怪的地方，好小小的错误 bug，OK、okay?。所以呢，这边我觉得会是一个 software engineer， 这是三。再来 cavity 是蛀洞 ，OK， 如果是洞，牙齿的洞。所以这边光听到这个字，我就可以去猜这是一个 dentist 啊。那我们再看其他的 drill 是电钻，或者是那个在钻牙齿的那个东西，也可以叫做 drill 啊。Pull the tooth，OK，、okay? 要把这个牙齿拔出来，所以。千真万确了。最后一个 applicant， applicant 是申请人、申请者。interview 哦，面试。最后 job candidate 啊，这个 job candidate 跟 applicant 它的意思呢是一样的。OK， 所以呢，这边我觉得都是跟面试有关的。我猜是这个 interviewer。OK， 就是面试人员。
。好，我们再看其他几组哦。G 啊、uh, ，verify unusual activity 是确认怪怪的、不寻常的活动。Credit card account 信用卡账户 transaction 交易啊，这边感觉是 bank representative 十六 ，All right。H 呢 ，front desk 前台。Reservation 预约 ，Room Service 客房的服务哦，这几个都是在饭店里面，所以我会觉得是三。好 ，Hotel Clerk， 再来 I know where to， 请问你要去哪里？哦、这个只有计程车司机会讲嘛。我们继续看 Next Intersection，、哦、下一个十字路口，所以呢这边我们就选七号 Taxi Driver。J 呢 Upgrade 要升级 ，Business Class 是商务舱，然后最后 Double Booking 啊、哦，就是重复定位、重复化位了。我觉得这个是 airline employee 第九个，最后 cover 是报道或者是盖子，然后呢 headline story 哦，头条的新闻，在 breaking news 哦，这个劲爆的消息哦，好，所以这边我觉得会是哪一个呢？就是 journalist， OK， 就是新闻从业人员啦， All right， 好。所以呢，人物的职业，记得你在听的时候呢，从关键字当中去把它给找出来啊、哦。好，那我们来看一下这个题目 ，OK？ 他的工作是什么呢 ？CEO、Secretary、Maintenance Worker 还是 Manager？ Jessica， can you set up an appointment with the CEO tomorrow？ What time？ I'll need to check your schedule. How about 10 a.m.？ Well, you have a video conference at 9:15, which should be finished at 9:45. But it would be better to have the meeting after lunch. 这题希望大家都有答对哈，答案是哪一个嘞？答案就是 secretary. OK， 因为呢，他说 Jessica， can you set up an appointment with the CEO tomorrow？ 你明天呢，帮我跟这个 CEO 定一个。呃，这个约会好不好？就是这个会面的时间好不好嘞 ？OK， 那他说 What time I need to check your schedule？ 所以从这个对话当中，我们可以去推断出来 ，Jessica 就是秘书。OK， 好，那以上是我们今天的课程内容，我们下堂课见，拜拜。See you next time。